Hi folks, back again, slight accident, just in case, covered up. I should have used the long nose pliers here, so I've been told. Now then, we have this extending pole, right, for the curtains here. You extend it as far as you want, then twist, twist and turn, and that locks the length you want. Now this is an interesting one, this. We have an either end, this system goes on here, that end, and of course we have this other one for this end, on like so, right? But the difficulty here is, if you turn that one that way, when you're going up, it falls off, or that one falls off. Now there may be some clever way you're supposed to do this, if you read the instructions, you know what I mean, who reads the instructions? So what I do in these situations is take a rubber band, just a small rubber band, this one's even a bit big, right? And take this in first, tuck it in, one end in, then over the inside put my, what I refer to as do that. Now, that doesn't fall off, that one, right? We'll put it on tidy with that bit of rubber sticking out, so we'll take that piece of rubber off. And we won't use the standing knife, right? So the other end has fallen off as well, if we do that. So, let's do the same thing here. Let's just lock it on with a wee piece of rubber. This is not officially how you do it, right? But for us amateurs, it's okay. The professionals that will be on YouTube here with a lot of stick. So let's get that one on. There we go. Oops, it is it. Push the right through. There we go. Uh, take the other piece off, shall we? Watch the curtains. Now, that one's not going to fall off either. So when we go up, is it all in my eye? What ends? Yes, they, they, the other two bits, do they go on later once you've measured the size that you want? The two other metal bits that go on the pole? Uh-huh. Now these other pieces go on as well. But let's take the safety cover off. What we have on here is double-sided tape on both of them. So we'll take the protective covering off first. I know it's the end of this, this bit into the camera, by the way. Yes. Okay, so you see the red on this? That's a double sided tape. So when I put these on, you'll notice you go right over the top and the same on the other end. Right? So when we twist and lock it, twist and lock against the wall, we've got such an end to do one job, but now we introduce double sided tape effect which goes in the wall. So we have belts and braces now to hold this one on. But we can go up now, put it across and measure it to fit on. But the easiest way to do this, as far as I'm concerned, is to take these two pieces first. Right, which come off the going on any, any end. Now let's put these up on the wall first. Right? Um, now where's my... ladders? Next Max is part of that one. Let's do the same with the other one.
X marks the spot there. So take that. And there we have it. So what we do now is after all that going a bit, let them take a lot of chances we'll put the rings on first. This is really the first time I've did this. So um, we'll take the double sided tape inside off, shall we? Who is that? Who is that? If you watch me up here, if you can, I'll get that list. I'm going to, I'm going to put a slip bang in that leg, just to keep the camera there. Show you better on that side, but in the meantime, I'll talk my way through this one if you follow me up. Follow me up. So we've got the X marks the spot. And we'll put this it's a glue side to the wall and we can see through it remember so we see X slap bang in the middle and let's put it all in that's quite good down, quite solid right and let's do the same the other side too because we know the right bit is both the same well time consuming I suppose but uh, you want to do it properly and again I'm going to turn this Ladders round. Slow, laborious, but a bit safer than what my man has started. Again, take it all the size to take off. You can. There we are. We're going to stick it on that way. Right, because we can see the X that I've marked up here. We shall double check so I can't make any mistakes. <laughs> Spot right in the middle. And that's what I think, my measurements are wrong, and that'll fit. The pole should now fit quite comfortably. There's no problem. Oh, we don't, we don't have the clip on ones, do we? No. Right, so what we'll do, we shall just, I remember, just bear with me a second. As you remember, double sided glue, so glue is holding it on, and suction pads here, when I squeeze it tight, hold it on. So we've got belts and braces with this one, but uh, it means so we've got so we've got belts and braces with this one. The suction pads, yeah, they're on with glue. These are suction pads are going with pressure. So as I said before, we have belts and braces system. So let's put our curtains on. I'll bring in the good lady to help us out here. Why don't you spill your tea or your coffee there? Or... Sorry, right, man. Don't think my camera there. Are they? I'm getting out. And there we are. And what another one on now? As 
jump me up. You got to check out that one right there. Alright. Now we're going for the big push. Not when it holds on the pole, there's no way it can come off either end because it's straight into the wall. Right. That's the that's the charm of it. Gotcha. Now that's in front of the other side, so let's just screw them tight, shall we? There we are. So belts and braces. Is that hanging okay? Too low, too high? I don't know, I can't see. I think that's fine. Okay. Put the oven over, please. Yep, that's fine. How is that for me? So, to just run through it quickly, am I too close? Okay, so let's do it quickly. We have these extended cotton rails, turn and twist, locks it. So when you're going to do that, before you lock it, you press it hard against either end, then you twist and lock it. The suction either end, so that holds it there. With this one, you also have the added advantage of two discs which have double-sided tape to give you um, a gluing effect. You can glue those on first, then put rods in, then tighten it, and you have a pretty stable device. And, uh, well, as I said, you've seen the... Uh, the way I do it, which is slow, cumbersome, others may do it better, but there's one way of doing it. So, can I thank you very much and catch you again sometime. Cheers. Thank you.